Fendi skin, Fendi skin, Fendi skin. Hello beautiful! In today's video, I'm going to be trying out the new Fenty Skin line. I'm going to be trying out the entire line. I do want to say that this is basically a first impressions and I'm not a huge fan of first impression videos just because I don't feel like you guys get a good re good enough review of the product especially when it comes to skincare however I did want to unbox it with you guys and I wanted to try it for the first time with you guys so without further ado let's get into the video starting off with the Fenty Skin Total Cleanser, Remove It All Cleanser. This is actually really nice packaging. It almost looks like a light blue as opposed to purple. And the thing I really like about this is that it has a screw cap, so you don't have to actually remove the cap. You could just twist it down and then you twist it back up when you're done. I like that clicking sound. ASMR. Next is the toner. This is the Fat Water. This is a very thick toner. Oh, this also clicks. I like that. So I think we have to remove this sticker on top. Do some ASMR. I love convenient applicators like that. I'm all for that. And then lastly, we have the Hydrovisor, which is the an invisible moisturizer with broad spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen. Okay. So the top looks like this. And now how do I open it? Oh, you just pull that out there. So it comes with the refill of the moisturizer, which is very innovative. I have never seen something like this before. I really like the packaging of this one. It has a decent way to it. It's very smooth. I guess you just stick it in there. Oh, okay. And then that was that. Oh, and then you close it. Open, close. This is the most innovative packaging I have seen so far with skincare. I think my favorite packaging out of all of these so far is definitely the moisturizer. Now let's go ahead and try out these products. I'm actually pretty surprised with the cleanser. It felt really nice. It had a really nice and thick and creamy lather. The cleanser felt like it was good quality and then as I was massaging it into my face it had a it felt like there was a moisturizing properties in it as well. My face does not feel dry. It doesn't feel tight. Now let's see if it has removed all my makeup. I know it wasn't going to remove my eyeliner because I'm using magnetic eyeliner and this stuff is like tacky. It's like a it's like glue on my eyes. So let's go ahead and see if the cleanser effectively removed all of my makeup. So there is still a little bit of makeup left over. It's not too much, luckily, but I do think that if you have makeup on, you will have to go in with like a cleansing oil beforehand or um, like a makeup wipe. It felt like it was going to remove all of my makeup just based on how like rich and creamy the cleanser was, but yeah, there's still a little bit left over, so it won't effectively remove all of your makeup. Now I'm going to go in with the Fat Water, the Pore Refining Toner Serum. You have to shake it out. It's pretty thick. Usually with my serums, I like to pat it in. 
but because this is kind of a different consistency I feel like I need to kind of rub it in it's very tacky and sticky like a serum I feel like this gave me a little bit of a glow and then last but not least we're gonna try the moisturizer I can't smell very well, so I don't really smell anything. But I have heard that this has a very strong fragrance. Do you smell anything? Um, you smell my hand? Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like my skin got more tan. I think with the toner mixed with the moisturizer, and there's a bug over here, uh, it makes it pretty like kind of greasy sticky feeling I think both of those combined do that I am feeling a lot of moisture on my face like usually a lot of moisturizers they just like quickly leave but this is still just like lingering on my skin my skin doesn't feel tight whatsoever starting from the cleanser it didn't feel tight which is supposed to be a good thing and the serum is is thick as you can see so I really don't see how any of this could dry out your skin I would say overall I am like it as a first impressions but I will have to use it a little bit more in order to see results again I do feel like I'm seeing a glow in my skin I thought I wasn't really going to like it and I've heard other people say not such great things about it but in my opinion I'm really enjoying it I like the way the cleanser felt I love thick creamy cleansers with a nice lather and a nice foam. I especially love how it didn't make my face feel dry afterwards. I almost felt like I didn't even need to go in with a toner, but they give you the toner anyways. I would say my least favorite so far is the toner serum. I like to use my toners to remove any excess makeup, but this is a thicker formula. It's pretty much like a serum and I I apply it like a serum so I feel like I would need a separate toner to remove excess makeup. My favorite of all these so far would definitely be the cleanser because I like how it feels. My skin is normal but at the moment I am dealing with um, more oily skin because it is summer and my skin gets really oily during the summer. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see the full review of the Fenty Skinny, Fenty Skinny line, the Fenty Skin line. Fenty skin, Fenty skin, Fenty skin, Fenty skin, Fenty skin, Fenty skin, Fenty skin. It's kind of weird to say. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all in another video. Bye. I can't help.